Hi! It's time to unbox another Wizarding World box. Ta da! Um, I forgot this was coming this month because I, I had like unsubscribed from a bunch of advertising emails and um, I, I think a bunch of Loot Crate ones, but pretty sure not the ones that's supposed to notify you if the box is coming, but alas. Didn't know it was coming, so, and I couldn't find an email even in my spam, so. But here it is, it came anyway. I didn't even need to know it was coming, it was here. So, surprise! Um, but yeah, this is, this is the, I think the, um, what was it called? The Magical Necessities or something box. It was a while since I looked it up, but we're just gonna open it, because it'll tell us what it is, eventually. Here we go. It's a weird shape box this time. Kind of big, kind of long. Oh. Okay. 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 This is interesting already. So here's what it looks like inside. And it looks like it's a trunk. And it says, Draco Dormis Naquam Tillandus. So that's the uh, Hogwarts crest on the trunk. So this is a Hogwarts trunk. And um, already I see something from the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. So we're going to go with that first since it's smacking in the face. Um, oh, I see something nice in here. <laughs> so, this is interesting. Let's take a look at it. It is a stationary set, Makusa. And um, I'm sorry, there's glare. There we go. Ta da! And let's see here. Stationary set, office stationary set includes folio, sticky notes, two paper clips, and a list pad. Okay. It's very nicely packaged. I really like the packaging. It's cute. As soon as I opened it, I was like, what's this? It looks interesting. Let's open it up. It's very fancy, very official looking. There's the box. It has a little Makusa uh, sale on the outside. Magical Congress of the United States of America. <laughs> um, so we got that. And we got a little notepad. The first thing I see with the little Makusa logo on top. Um, it's got kind of like an aged paper look. It's kind of like beige. Um, it's, I, I, I have more... Um, I'm more endearment towards Fantastic Beasts. I just rewatched it recently, um, and I really it was a really good movie. It was very enjoyable. I can't wait till the next ones come out. So, very nice. Yeah, a lot of paper. Gives you a good amount of paper. I'm going to use this because I like notepads. Um, then we have these little sticky notes, which are super cute. Oh my god. Okay. Um, here's what they look like. Like a little compass. Thing, and it's like the Weasley clock where it kind of points to everything that's going on. So this is the magical exposure threat level. I remember that from the movie. So um, right now it's pointed to severe unexplained activity. There's also, um, let's see here. There's also witch hunters, exposures, obliviations, and it says zero threat, low threat level one, level two moderate threat, level three high alert, level four danger, level... Oh, and then there's the one that it's at, Severe Unexplained Activity. And then there's um, Emergency Level 6. So those are all the different levels. And there's kind of like um, celestial symbols around on the inside of it right here. I think those are celestial ones uh, for the stars. And um, yeah, and then there's an, a hand pointing. So yeah, that's really cute. I love that. I'm totally going to use the sticky notes. Um... And now we have uh, little paper clips. Oh, this one's kind of scratched. Whoa. They both kind of a little bit scratched. Who scratched my paper clips? And I guess this is the Makusa kind of like eye. Ta da! Paper clips. Paper clips. Okay. They're really, they're quite kind of a little, there's like a quirky, cute, disturbing kind of situation going on here because eye. But um, yeah, that's awesome. And let's see what's this over here. Oh, it's a folder! Okay, so this big thing behind it, 
was a folder. It says file number department up here. Let's see. Um, and then they got the date and the sign and of course the Makusa logo. And so you could folder your papers. Put your papers in here, your important Makusa files. So um, yeah, it's really cute. I'm probably not gonna use the folder and not not like this. I like folders that are like pocket ones. Um, but this is really cute. It's I like the theme of the Fantastic Beasts and what they did with it and like the sticky notes and uh, paper clips. I don't know if you're gonna use the paper clips either. I just I do think they're cute though. And I'm definitely gonna use the notepad. So there's that. Um, but yeah, wow, very cute. I like that. That was a nice first hack um, item. So. Yay! Good job, Fantastic Beasts and also Wizarding World box. Now I'm going to have a hard time figuring out how this went back in. And I'm not going to waste your time on that. I'm just going to put it to the side. I just want to get this out of the way. Come on, paper clips. So yeah. So there's that. I'm going to dump that. Oh, look at the rest of the stuff. So, next I see... So there's no there's no t-shirt this time. The first time we have not got a t-shirt, but that's okay because I got a Ravenclaw scarf. Um, I actually do have a Ravenclaw scarf. I, for whatever reason, it wasn't in these. Oh, do I? No, actually, I think I just have a, a general Harry Potter one. Um, so it's I don't have I don't have these colors. I love these colors. I like the Ravenclaw colors a lot, and I know people do not like the fact that, I mean, because it has the, it has, okay, so, it has, like, a patch that's the raven, um, and I know a lot of people are not happy because the raven is not the symbol um, from the books. The books have the eagle, and, see, I remembered it now. Ha, ha I learned, because I'm a Ravenclaw. Um, but, yeah, I mean... The raven is only used for whatever reason in the movies. I guess they just want it to be very, um, uh, what's the word? Uh, I guess, uh, just very obvious with it because raven, raven claw, uh, literal. It, they wanted to be super literal with it, I guess, because they thought, oh, that would confuse people. Why is there an eagle if it's called raven claw? Because that was the person's name. Okay, her name was Ravenclaw. You don't want to see people, you know, um, having, uh, well, there is a snake for Slytherin, so, okay, but Gryffindor, Godric Gif Gryffindor, there's no, nothing to tie in his name to the lion, um, and you have Helga Hufflepuff, you don't have anyone huffing and puffing in their logo, it's just a, a badger, so I don't understand why you needed to be that literal with it, but whatever i i don't i'm not too upset I, I i never cared that that much um but eagles are prettier so it's whatever and it is more canon to the actual story but yeah i mean see that for me it would be a blue and gray scarf and i love that so much that's so cool i'm definitely gonna use this for sure i like this a lot um and you know i mean it's nice to get something different uh i'm obviously wearing as usual, the t-shirt from the box before, which, I mean, it was a cute design. Um, I actually wore it a couple times already, so, just because I like how long they are, so. Um, but yeah, this is beautiful. It's super nice quality, very thick, you know, double-sided. Um, it's definitely going to keep you warm. It's, it's beautiful, really. It's very long. So, um, yeah, I love this. This might be one of my favorite things we've gotten in these boxes. Um, I am very pleased indeed with the quality and the color and just everything and that it's a Ravenclaw specific, uh, thing. Cause we don't get too many, ra um, house specific items and I would think we would. I mean, I think if I'm going to say the only disappointment I've really had the, well, I should say the biggest disappointment I've had with these boxes is that we have not gotten house specific items that often and I wish we did. So... So yay, that's great. Okay, that was that was awesome. I love this scarf. Of course, you see the little the little tassels at the end. Cute. Like the Ravenclaw colors. 
put on my nose. Very pretty. Very nice. Very thick and warm and long. Love it. Okay, so that's item number two. And I see another wand pen. This was like last time. Now whose is this? Because last time it was Snape's. Is this just a random one? Let's see. We'll find out, won't we? I mean, you see, I'm not that enthused because we got one last time. And Snape's is very nice and I liked it a lot. Is this just a general one? I think it's just a general one. It doesn't say anything. Oh no, I'm, I'm an idiot. It says Harry Potter on there. I guess I didn't didn't register because I'm thinking, oh, that's just the brand, you know, it's just the the, the um the series is Harry Potter. But no, it's Harry's. So this is Harry's one. Oh, that's cool. So we got snakes last time. Now we get Harry's. So here's Harry's one. Oh. I don't remember what Harry's was because I'm a bad fan. Um, uh, there was I know it's unicorn here. No, it was not unicorn hair. Shame on me. Phoenix feather. It's a phoenix feather wand, obviously, because it shares a core. The same feather, the same bird. Here's Dumbledore's phoenix fox. So he has a he has a um, phoenix feather wand that is. I don't remember what the what the wood was. Mm, but um, I don't remember the inches either. Twelve, thirteen, something. Eleven. I don't remember. Don't you freaking judge me. It's been a long time since I read or watched the first book. And I don't remember the, um, I just know that he gets the other wand eventually. So at the end. So that's his wand now. Haha. <laughs> um, but yeah, so there's, there's the wand and the wood and how it opens into a pen. That's the cap. And these pens are really nice. I mean, they're like, they're not like cheapo plastic. And um, they've got a weight to them. And I love always how they're packaged in like a proper Ollivander's box. So it's really cute. Um, so yeah, two wands. I just, like I said though, um, you know, I mean, while I could always use another pen, it's just that I liked keeping, a ha like I took Snape's, Snape's is still in his little box. And I actually used it the other day. Um, I like keeping them in the box, but then you have no room. So now I feel bad because it's like, what do I do with the box? And I want to throw it out. It's so nicely packaged. And I like keeping it in there and I have no place to put them. <sighs> the, the perils of no space. Okay, so yes, this is really pretty. Very nice that we got Harry's wand to accompany Snape's from last time. Ta-da! It is a pen. And it is very nice. But I wish we had gotten something different and not another pen. Okay, I see Honey Dukes in here, so I'm going to open Honey Dukes because that looks interesting. Oh, you know what? No, first I'm going to open the, uh, the bane of my existence. It's always like, there's always either... There's very few pins here in the, any of these boxes that I enjoy, and I can tell it's another massive one. I see the two backs again. I don't like these massive pins. Why do they need to be so big? It's so impractical. Like, what are you going to do with them? Oh, my. Oh, no, this one's nice. <laughs> so you never know. It's just really pretty because it has the jewels. Okay, I'm going to show it to you. It's the locket. It's Slytherin's locket. Do you see it? And there's little green gems for the snake on there. Um, and it's got like a beveled, see the beveled, shiny, 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 the beveled um, glass on top. So that's really pretty. I didn't even, to me, Slytherin's locket didn't look like this in my head. I guess it's, again, the movie. I don't remember what the movie was. Because I, I haven't seen the movies in so long. Um, if anything, Fantastic Beasts is the most fresh in my mind. Because that's what I saw last. So, I don't remember the locket being this pretty. But very nicely done, movie team. In my head, it looks like just an old dull locket. That didn't seem anything special. So it's got the, like, writing, ancient writing on the outside. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's really nice. It's just that I'm never actually going to wear it because it's so cumbersome with the freaking two backs. <sighs> Why does it need... I mean, if you're... If, I get it. You want to make something, like, heavy and um, quality. So because it's so heavy, you need that support. Otherwise, it'll turn um, if you were to put it on something. 
but it's just to me I guess no one expects you to really wear this on your like yourself you're gonna put it on like a bag or even if you wanted to put it like say on a lanyard or something which I actually do because I have it hanging from the Harry Potter lanyard that I got in one of these boxes I put them on there because I don't have anywhere else to put them to the display that's what smells last time I opened the box and there was this weird smell on the item on something oh look and it's like oh it's like kind of look it's got it on my finger there's like a, a, a residue there's a residue why do they smell like this it almost smells i don't want to say it but it kind of smells a little bit like like a substance you would smoke or chew or something i don't know it smells it smells not pleasant. I don't like this smell. And last time I could not figure out where it was coming from. What what in this box smells? Now I know. The pins, for whatever reason, smell like that. So that's not pleasant. But yeah, that I mean, other than that, it's a nice pin. I mean, you know, it's just too heavy. I don't like that they have to have two backs. But yes, so very pretty. So other than that, I like the jewels in there. They're so shiny. So, okay. I was distracted by the shiny. Okay, so now here's the last thing. So here's what the box looks like empty. Like a nice little trunk, Hogwarts trunk. Probably could turn it inside out, I assume, and make it into a trunk box, um, which is cute. So here's the last item. It says Honey Dukes, so I'm excited. Obviously, I, I don't assume I'm going to get anything food-wise here, so not edible, says it right there. Damn it. Actually, you know what? That would have been a great idea. Like, they should make that. Like, a Harry Potter food box from Loot Crate. That would be enjoyable. Because they have lots of food boxes from all over the place. I mean, I guess eventually you would like run out of food. But J.K. Rowling made a lot of different kinds of, like, food um, and candies and things. Like, you could you could get lots of, lots of different um, boxes out of that. So, um. Okay, so here, I like how it opens. So here's what's inside. So you do get food, kind of. They're not real. I'm assuming they're erasers, is my thought. Here's a cauldron cake, which I've had. Um, at the Wizarding World, I think they changed it now, even. Um, they changed what it looks like, which makes me sad, and I want to try that one, too. But I'm not going back anytime soon. So there's a cauldron cake right here. This is really cute. Okay, so cauldron cake. Um, you got a sugar skull, which reminds me of the Day of the Dead. Uh, so you got the sugar skull. Why do I remember the names of these? Like, why am I remembering? They're pretty heavy. This is heavy. Is this seriously? Is it an eraser? Then we have... I don't remember what the tongue is. I don't remember what's it called. A licorice tongue? I don't remember what the tongue is. Um, that's what the back looks like. I'm got to assume these are erasers, but this head, the sugar skull, is very heavy. Um, and the actually, the cauldron cake looks like it comes apart. Oh, it does! The cauldron cake is removable. Like you, could, It's in little parts, like those Japanese erasers. I love the Japanese erasers because they actually work. Um, I, I, I feel like Americans don't really know how to do erasers well. Like, I feel like you erase and it just makes more of a mess. It just smudges everything. So that, you see that? Look, so the cauldron cake is, like, removable. And now I'm going to struggle to put it back together. But here we go. There we go. Oops. And you could probably remove the, yeah, the, um, I guess the, I don't know what the middle part is. What the little, is this supposed to be marshmallow? that so and there's one more because of course you have to have a chocolate frog ta-da chocolate frog yay i'm gonna try this though are these erasers i'm sure it tells you no it doesn't you're just gonna guess what is this yes no it does tell you because i didn't read it because i'm stupid all right set includes four erasers chocolate frog sugar skull jelly slug cauldron cake this is it right there. I was just too preoccupied with the little warning that says don't eat this. It's inedible. <laughs> so, okay. Let me see here. I have a pencil. 
I have a cute little kitty paw pencil, not part of anything that has to do with Harry Potter. And I will use the notepad that they gave me from Makusa. And I will write and I will test the prowess of these erasers. So let's see here. Uh, okay. Harry. Potter. So wrote Harry Potter in my terrible handwriting. And I'm going to use the fob because. Which did I pack it back away? What did I do with the fob? Oh, did it hop away? What did I do with it? Oh my goodness. Oh my god. What did I do with the chocolate fob? That's right. Here it is. It hopped away. See what happens? You can't leave these things flying around. So, okay, let's see. Use the butt. Ah! It erases pretty well. Yay! Good job, erasers. That's cute. Oh my god. Okay. I like that. I actually think this is the least cumbersome to erase with, though. The little trigger, the um, licorice tongues, or whatever they are. I don't know what they're, what these are. They are obviously a tongue. Um, uh, but the other ones I remember what they were called. I like the little cauldron cake, and ugh, the sugar's so really heavy. Like, this feels like it weighs, like, a quarter of a pound or something. It's pretty heavy. These are great. I really like the little erasers. Super cute. I love the packaging. Like you could even see like sweets underneath, like as a design. Honeydukes logo. Oh, super cute. Okay, I like that. Those were adorable. Very cute packaging. I've never even seen these before. Didn't know they existed. So, are these exclusive? I can't imagine they're exclusive. Anyway, I'm putting them probably in the wrong spots, but it's fine. It's whatever. So that was that. That was probably out of the out of everything I got. I'll tell you at the end. Let's just read it. Let's read the little thing that tells us what's in here. So I'll see. Yeah, you can turn your crate into a trunk. That's what I thought. So, magical must-haves. Whether you're headed back to Hogwarts for a new school year full of adventure or in need of organizing your desk at Makusa, you'll need to equip yourself with some essentials only found in the wizarding world. Don't worry, this crate has you covered. This crate's magical loot. So, Hogwarts house scarf. A key component to a Hogwarts uniform, show your house pride with the scarf that features your house colors and crest. Um, yes, indeed. We got that. That's very nice. I'm very happy. I love our, my house colors. Um, I actually prefer mine the best, even though the Gryffindor ones are the most recognizable. Um, but I really like the blue and gray, so. So, number two, Sla a, a Salazar Slytherin Locket Enamel Pin. The next in your, the next in our Horcrux Pin series, this is the safest way to wear this particular nasty, particularly nasty bit of jewelry. Indeed. Okay, well, and number three, Honeydukes Eraser Set. This unique collection of erasers inspired by some of the best known treats found at Honeydukes will make finals week that much sweeter. And they're not telling me, though, what the t Oh, they do tell you. Again, another thing I didn't read. Okay, so it is a sugar skull jelly slug. Oh, it's a slug. It's not a tongue. Look like a tongue. It doesn't look like a slug to me. This is a slug? It doesn't have eyes. Mm, I see it now, but it doesn't have eyes. Okay, so it's a slug, cauldron cake, and chocolate frog. Okay, the other things I got, but this is a this is a jelly slug. Oh, I see. Okay, I thought it was a tongue. Kind of looks like a like a like a creepy some monster's tongue. Okay, jelly slug. All right, fair enough. Okay, got that one wrong. Okay, so yes, yeah, so eraser set. Harry Potter's wand pen. Perfect for a little everyday magic, this special pen will make words appear on paper whenever you want. <laughs> Magical. Um, number five, Makusa desk supply set. Any desk in Makusa will pro be properly and fully stocked with this set of basic supplies. All right, so very nice. So that's everything we got in the box. And um, I'd say I liked most of the items for sure. Um, while I like Harry's wand, um, I would have been more excited if we hadn't gotten one last time. 
and um, uh, you know, you guys know I have a love-hate relationship with the pins. They're very, this one's very pretty, but I just don't like how bulky they are, and I'm never really going to use them anyway, regardless of how much I like them or don't. So there's that. The Makusa set, I like it more because I like Fantastic Beasts a lot, and I I am going to use a lot of these. I, well, I'd say I'd use half of them. Like, I'm probably not going to use the paper clips. I am going to use the sticky notes. I am going to use the notepad. I'm probably not going to use the folder. And the the cute Honey Dukes thing, I loved pretty much everything about it. I'm, I like, I do like erasers and I do use them. Um, so, and they just want, these seem to work really well. I love the theming. I love the box. I love the packaging of it all. Um, and I just think they look really cute. Uh, so I like that one a lot too. So my probably my two favorites are actually the scarf and the honeyduke set, just because of they just looked really nice. And um, yeah, I mean it was it, overall it was a really nice box. I feel like they are getting better with these boxes because I really like the last one too. However, and then I waited till now to say this, I'm probably not getting the next boxes. I canceled it because originally it was supposed to be a six box subscription and uh i did the did the math because I, I had forgotten i thought last time i had two boxes to go um turns out no i have hit my six box subscription and of course i knew they would continue them uh, of course they will but i just i don't I, I as much as i like some of the things that we get and like that they're exclusive and you know, I, I really like, like, I love the scarf and everything. I never ended up getting that house t-shirt. I'm sure it'll come eventually. I'm just not going to get it because it's it's a lot of money. They upped the price of them as well, the boxes. The boxes, I think they upped it by just, like, $3. But $3 when the box is already, you know, you know close to 40 It's It's, you know, it's a lot. Not including the shipping, of course. So with the shipping, it's, like, 45 or something like that. 45 46 and I just, I, it's just a lot of money to pay, and it's, it really is one of the more expensive boxes, I think, um, from Blue Crate. Maybe I'm wrong, because I know that they have, they have cheaper ones, and um, I'm just not getting enough stuff that I'm going to actually use, rather than, and, and that I'm like out, like over the moon about, for me to continue spending that kind of money every two months for you know, stuff that's just kind of piling up in my house. So, yeah, that's why I'm gonna, you know, just, this is gonna be my last box. This is my last unboxing of Harry Potter. And, um, I wanted to thank everyone who watched any of these because I'm definitely completely amateur when, um, amateurish, uh, when it comes to unboxings because I never did it before. It is exciting. It was fun to do this. It kind of made it like a little event every time that it wasn't just me being, you know, going through the box. I was felt like I was going through it with you guys. So, um, that made it better and more fun. So, yeah. Uh, if I ever do another, any other kind of box subscription, I definitely will do unboxings again. It's just that um, probably have to say goodbye to the Harry Potter Wizarding World Fantastic Beast box sets. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's it. I, this one's really long. Sorry about that. And, uh, yeah, but, uh, I hope you enjoyed this series, and I hope you guys continue to get them, if you do, and, you know, enjoy them, and, uh, I hope you guys one day get a Harry, a, um, a house t-shirt, because I, that was the one thing that I wish I got, and I have not, and I'm sure they will eventually, so. Okay, so, yeah, um, that was it, and, uh, I'm gonna stop.